Welcome back everybody, I'm Edward Builder and I am back today with more updates around the new rules released by the SBA for the EIDL program. And would you believe that after a year and a half's time, they finally released a step-by-step -step instruction guide to get this process done. I know, a year and a half, this channel right here released a step-by-step -step about a year ago to do this process. You could check out my how-to playlist if you'd like to learn more about that. Stay to the end of the video. I'm gonna try and keep this as short as possible. I'm gonna cover more clarity around the changes. We're gonna talk about the recon process and answer some frequently asked questions here because I have more updates around collateral, credit scores, and eligible expenses. I'm gonna keep it as short as possible. Before I get into it, remember to like and subscribe to the channel to get your updates daily on small business and the economy to keep yourself ahead of the curve right now and learn secrets on how you could earn more money, okay? One of my secrets of getting this done, you could check it out right now in the description. I have a crash course on Airbnb that teaches you one of my secrets to passive revenue where that money just appears. Many of you messaged me yesterday asking what time my sale was going to end on that crash course. So I will extend it till Sunday at midnight to help you all out. Rush up to the description. It will be extended on sale and it will end on Sunday at midnight. And don't forget, if you'd like to learn how you could partner with me in my current B&B business, find me on Instagram and ask about my Zoom calls. And also I'm launching in two weeks time a B&B boot camp. Find me on Instagram to get part of that list. All right, guys, we're going to get into the EIDL updates for today. We got a lot of new things to cover. And remember, I talk about three major areas of focus here. That's more money, less rules for the eligible expenses, and new forms for processing. Remember, new forms equals faster speed. How fast are we talking about here? Well, for everybody out there who is going from the $500,000 up to the $2 million loan caps, you could start applying today. But the SBA is setting a priority for October 9th to finally start reviewing those. They're going to put 30-day priority on everybody out there who's seeking the loans less than $500,000. But once this goes live, they're saying in two weeks' time, from October 9th, in two weeks' time, they will process everybody over 500 k So remember, the faster speed is more than likely related to the new forms that are coming out because they're probably going to put this through an automation and automations, new forms, also equal more errors, right? So that's why you guys tune into this channel to figure out how to solve all those errors. So I'll keep you guys updated and posted here. This will be maybe a little chaotic or it might go rather smooth here. We'll find out soon enough and I'll have your updates right here on this channel. Now, the more money that I'm talking about, it's the $2 million, okay? Finally, they're gonna open up the loan caps up to $2 million, and it used to be capped per individual if you're in multiple businesses that you could only get up to $2 million. They're now taking that up to $10 million, okay? So that is much, much more money. Less rules for eligible expenses. Now, I had a question come into the channel here, and I wanna update you guys because we're gonna get an answer to this one. On September 9th, there was an SBA press release on the newsroom that said, that the eligible expenses will now be opened up to new equipment, okay? Purchasing equipment. And that's much different than what we've seen in the past because in the past it was for paying down debts and working capital, government debts, which they've now opened up to other debts and working capital, all right? New equipment is more of a capital expenditure. Those rules were not found inside the new release of the new rules. So I'm gonna reach out and get some clarity on that to find out if you can, in fact, buy new equipment. I mean, this could be for Uber Lyft drivers. This could be like a new car, okay? This could mean a lot of things. If you're running factories, you go out and buy new press machines. So much could, this could mean so much, all right? So I'll get the answer on that and let you guys know once I find out from my loan officers. Now, we also saw some questions around the list of real estate come through, okay? Because, yeah, now all of a sudden they're asking for a list of your real estate. Before, real estate collateral was never required. What we found out is that it will be required on loans greater than $500,000. They will ask you to list your real estate, and more than likely, you will need enough collateral to cover the balance of that loan. Now, I don't know exactly if it's going to be the, the balance of everything above 500K, right? Remember I said if it was a million dollars and you know you already took 500K that didn't require real estate collateral, will you now just need another 500K to cover the balance of that? I'm still waiting on an answer on that one, all right? But right now we know real estate collateral above $500,000 and they're also changing the credit score requirement for this from 570 
to 625 if you're going for higher than $500,000. It will still remain 570 for everybody below 500k and more than likely if you're under 500k it will not ask you for real estate collateral. Now, everybody out there has been reaching out to me on the channel kind of panicking that they don't have this blue button yet or possibly that your portal has disappeared because you've been denied, all right? Don't panic if you've been denied. Get yourself back into the reconsideration process as quickly as possible because remember, you have 30 days right now that they're going to prioritize your needs. That backlog that was originally for the first review process has become very small now and the backlog for the reconsideration process has grown. Get yourselves in the queue, get this started, okay, because there are more loan officers available right now to do the review process. And in the past, only one person really checked over your recon and now it will be reviewed by a series of people, like a team, similar to the initial review process. Now I want to shift over here for a moment and I want to talk about getting congressional support and getting support from your local district office. I get so many questions to the channel here and I get a lot of feedback from all of you. So thank you so much. Keep your comments coming. I love hearing from you guys. All right. Now, many of you have the feedback that you reach out to your local congressmen or your local reps and they're not actually helping or they have nothing on their websites to help get this process done. And I know many of you also do the same thing and reach out to your local SBA district offices. All right. But I do know that even if they're not helping, other districts are helping and other reps are helping. So don't just stop at your local reps and don't just stop at your local congressmen and women. Go out and seek on their websites. There will be a specific area if you're out there on your congressmen's websites or your congresswomen's websites that will lead you directly to disaster assistance and the team that's assigned to help you get this done, all right? And it, it does come with a lot of weight. You actually find yourself being expedited in this process, especially if you've been waiting for months and months and months. You're going to basically sign a release with them. They can get your 4506T much faster than anybody else because they have that .gov at the end of their, uh, at the end of their email. And they gain a lot of attention from the loan officers when that .gov comes across as well. So within 24 hours of time of reaching out and signing that release, you may find yourself getting a phone call from a loan officer and within about two to three days later, find yourself getting your funds sent to your bank account. This has been a fact for the ACH transfers and also a fact for everybody stuck in reconsideration. So I hope that helps. Try it. Let me know in the comments if this worked for you so we can help out everybody here on this channel. I thank you so much for tuning in to another video today and also for helping me get to over three and a half million views. You guys are amazing. I have 30,000 subscribers right now. I couldn't have done this without you all. So thank you so much for tuning in each and every day. And if you want to continue to support the channel and you want to learn my secrets on passive revenue, how I make all that money appear in my bank account each and every morning, check out my crash course found in the description on Airbnb where you get yourself into the real estate game with a $50 bill in your hand. You don't have to own the real estate to do this. There are no credit checks and you could cash flow through Airbnb in three business days earning an extra five to ten thousand dollars each and every month when you want to scale that process up you just repeat it over and over again and scale and grow to as large as you wish yes i extended the sale until sunday at midnight rush out there and grab it you all asked so i extended it so thank you so much and if you want to learn how you could partner with me and my current bnbs find me on instagram and ask about my partnerships and my zoom calls tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays at 7 p.m eastern standard time and 8 p.m eastern standard time and don't forget in two weeks i'm launching a new bnb boot camp Get on the list by finding me on Instagram and ask to join the list. I wish you guys all the best. That's going to do it for today, and I'll catch you all on the next one. You all are amazing. Bye for now.